The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org action. In 1917, World War I was nearing its end. Woodrow Wilson was inaugurated for a second term, and the first Pulitzer Prize was awarded. That's also the year one Monaga World War II veteran was born. Haiti Clotter shows us how one man has 100 reasons to celebrate. They say age is nothing but a number. And for Reino Ray Poninen, that number happens to be 100. Poninen celebrated life as a centenarian with friends and family on Saturday at his home, Rose Haven Assisted Living. <laughs> I don't notice any difference with 100 or 99. About 80 people mixed and mingled for this milestone. Poninen served four years in World War II and remembers that experience like it was yesterday. I think Tinian was. Last country I walked around with a helmet and a rifle. Halfway through the party, the man of the hour received recognition from the Veterans of Foreign Wars post 6206 as an honorary member of the Color Guard. I suppose I'd be real proud. I had tears in my eyes and it just reminded me of how lucky we are that we have men like him that fight for the freedom that we so embrace. Some of Ray's favorite things to do include singing, dancing, and playing golf. We golf in the morning and went for another nine holes in the afternoon. Poninen says growing up the ladies didn't hate him, but that all changed when he married the love of his life at 27 years old. The couple has been married for 68 years, and although they never had children, there's plenty of family members. Gloria Sabin and Hazel Ivy are raised nieces and look at their uncle as special and admire his humor. Some of their favorite memories with Uncle Ray include working at the Dairy Queen he owned and going to the Minnesota State Fair. Still enjoys reading the paper and watching watching the twins and so I'm, I feel very blessed to have such a wonderful man in my life. Poninen says his secret to living to 100 years old is luck. In Monaga, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. Although his actual birthday was last Friday, Poninen says with everything he experienced during World War II, he is just happy to be alive. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.